It's bully season, guys. So every time I send Piper into the yard at night, I need to do a quick glass through the ATM Thor 4. I've never seen anything like this. These bastards are everywhere. I treat this crew of misfits as I came around the corner into the backyard. They think they're safe, which for now they probably are, as firing up into a tree is a big no-no in an urban environment. Have no fear, though. Patience wins over the temptations served at the table for one. I'm going to set up a little ambush, and we're going to wreck us some backyard bullies, bringing balance and harmony to the yard and peace of mind for the safety of Old Piper. So buckle up. It's bully time. Ed Gun Leshy presents Backyard Bullies 4. One of the common misconceptions about what I do is the baiting. People get so butthurt over it. To those hypocrites, let me remind you that this is pest control. Unless you're out putting rat traps out in your yard with no cheese or peanut butter, shut your face. Seriously. This is actually right before the intro started. So these guys got spooked and then flew up the tree on the other side of the fence. That cat food, though, had them down within just a few minutes. And that's where we pick up the story. They came back down in singles, and this guy was first. The crazy part of the story is that all of it took place within a couple of days of Backyard Bullies 3. There's so many like little packs of these raccoons around this neighborhood that as soon as one is removed, the next just moves right in. I shot this one right between the eyes with a 34 grain JSB out of the Edgun R5M at around 700 feet per second. At around 37 foot pounds, this is probably the minimum you want for that shot placement. It's really effective, but it's a thick part of the skull, so the ear hole or a shot to the vitals is an option for lower velocity. I've also used an eyeball shot um, as it's just soft tissue, basically all the way to the brain, but uh, the angle and shot placement have to be perfect for that guy. I'll switch to the Nest Cam footage to get a wider perspective. Uh, within seconds, the next one made its way to the table. Man, those temptation treats are something else. This guy could care less that his buddy is dead below. These super crisp videos from the ATN X Site fork really show the detail of what I find super interesting about raccoons. Their paws, I, I, they look like hands to me, but calling them paws doesn't seem, doesn't seem right. You can see just how nimble they are, uh, which explains how they can be so destructive in your property. So just a side note, um, ATN introduced two things um, if you're in the market for a thermal or a night vision scope. They've got one, an instant rebate program with like up to like 500 bucks off uh, new uh, scopes and thermals and then an absolute fire sale on refurbished ones so I'll throw a link to both in the description. This was another one right between the eyes and although 30 seconds of wiggling or so which are just a nerve shutting down by the way it's a humane and instant death. Immediately after this one you'll see the eyes of the third and final raccoon on the other side of the fence. This some bitch was the chief bully and a real dick to old Piper. So I was more than happy to send him on a tumbling dirt nap. You can tell the ones that have seen some shit. You know what I mean? Like they are just so skittish. While he didn't really care about his two fat ass buddies below, he was not gonna get comfortable at this little restaurant of death. But one little taste and he was locked in. I just had waited kind of to time it uh, on his last bite and then boom. Down goes Bully. Although in retrospect, I can see the shots were perfect. In real time, it's to tell, especially at night. So I'll usually throw a few extras in just to make sure it's quick. Let's get into a little fan footage. And Paul from No Land Beyond channel had to dish out a little lead to his own backyard bully. As usual, his footage never disappoints. I'll throw a link in the description so you can check out his channel. That was lights out and a perfect shot. Make sure to check out his channel to see more. Uh, in the meantime, I got some cleaning up to do. If you like that video and you hate skunks, you should probably watch this video next.